Welcome, foolish mortals. Time to be turning around. If only you could. Cause this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness! Hey, Henry, what's holding you up? Let's get on with the show. We can't hang around here all day. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. There's no turning back now. This is the greatest show. Now it's time for the WDW Beyond the Gates podcast with your hosts, Michael Hurley and Gary Aruda. That's right, this is the WDW Beyond the Gates podcast, episode number 556, recorded from the Defont Leroy Studios in Kent County, Rhode Island, and sunny southwest Florida. I'm your host, Gary, joined as always by my co-host and my cousin, Mike, down in Florida. How are you doing today, Michael? I am so good right now, Pods. It's Thanksgiving week. Yes, it is. Happy Thanksgiving to all our, our listeners out there. We appreciate it. We want to wish you very good Thanksgiving. What are your uh, what are your Thanksgiving plans? You go to the club? We're going to the club. Nice. You've done that a few times now, right? Yeah, we do it pretty much, wouldn't you say? We... Every year yeah. now, pretty much. Works out pretty well. So nice. I'd still good... rather I'd still rather cook, but f- for four people, Kurt and his girlfriend would come over. It's still it's yeah. too much. Yeah. And they have such a nice spread. They did a good job over there. They have a great spread. Obviously, you could tell we're joined once again by sweet Susie in the studio. How are you today, Susie? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. Um, Wanted to bring you on. Actually, before we get into it, I wanted to let you know, Mike, that your Gina had uh, a friend sleepover last night. This is like the first sleepover. Like ever? That she's had, yeah. How were you? We did you drink a lot? How were you? Were you mentally oh, prepared? They were good. They're good kids. They they didn't make any problems. I just hung out in the office and. Oh, so you hit. Oh, them. so they don't take over the office. No, they're not. They're banned from the office. Oh, so they can't even go into the office. They have to ask. The kids aren't allowed in the office. That's mom and dad's space. Oh, so the whole downstairs is mom and dad's space. Well, no, just the office. They get. Oh, the whole just office. your okay. So they're yeah. allowed to go downstairs where the TV is. So that you know yeah. the Hurley Suite, yes. the Suite, right? Yes, but they can't go in the office. Have you considered maybe installing a bathroom down there? That wouldn't be the worst, would it? No, it would be nice. Especially for when you stay, you get your own. I was going to say, for all the times that you're up there and you need your own bathroom. You'd probably come more often if you had a bathroom. Yeah, on the same Rhode level. Island, Gary, I doubt it. Yeah, I love it. It was so nice having a cave, though. It was so beautiful. You just sleep differently down. In yeah, a, you get like that little it, bit of black mold in the air. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. The, the, just a little bit of mold. Just, oh, it's like. I'd be Tickled happy to my take you a dungeon. Mm-hmm. You can sleep down there. Um, so, but, anyways, so in the morning, uh, I made pancakes, and we had YouTube on. We were watching Disney YouTube's, and Yorgina said, "Can you show my friend the Rodeo Roundup video?" She wanted to watch the WDW Beyond the Gates YouTube page. Nice. Yeah, which you can find at YouTube.com/slash at WDWBTG, and there's a new video. You could check out on that page about the Swan and Dolphin Food and Wine Festival. That Did you were. watch that? I started to, and then some, I forgot. I got distracted. I got to I gotta really I dig in. Me. I need to concentrate on you, that thing. Now, what did your what did your Gina's uh, friend think of the of the review? Did she think it was pretty solid? They got bored. They walked away halfway through. <laughs> so you've kept it on though. We had to get to watch. We you had got to the get view. To watch yeah, you got time. the view. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't be shutting that thing off. I watched the whole thing. So. Anyway, I just thought that was a good opportunity to tell a story and plug the YouTube channel before we get yeah, into. Yeah, time. you got to run those things out. We need some more watch time. So make sure yeah. to uh, subscribe, too. We need to grow our subscription numbers. Subscribe and watch the whole video. And watch the whole video, yeah. Other than that, you do you, okay? You yes, do perfect. You. Just subscribe and watch all of my videos. Yeah, that's all we ask. <laughs> uh, so Otherwise, we're going to have the Patreon page. Don't make me do that. 2025 is a new year, isn't it? Don't make me do that. Uh, so you guys were up on property last weekend for the Swan and Dolphin Food and Wine Festival. That is correct. And you enjoyed that. We talked about that last week. Go back and listen if you haven't. 
We had Angry Newfield Jr. on to talk as well. But this week, you guys hit up two places in the boardwalk area. Yes, we did. And we wanted to review them. This was on the Sunday, right? Before that you is checked correct. out. Yep. Or as you checked out. Uh, what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with... Uh... Let's do it in chronological order. We'll, just, we'll start with the uh, Rosa Mexicano. Rosa Mexicano. So you guys had lunch yes. over at Rosa Mexicano. Um, now, you did try some of the stuff from them the night before, correct? Yeah, we tried the... Uh, they had the chips and salsa, and then they had a fish taco. Did oh, right. Something else with guacamole? guacamole with yeah. the... Not and good. you said the fish taco was not that great because it was cold. Is that the one? No, Susie doesn't, doesn't like it fried. We'd rather right, have it grilled or blackened. Okay. Yes, I agree with that. Um, it was good. I thought it was good, but it was good. It just wasn't the style that you. Yeah, prefer. I prefer. It. Yeah, yeah, I prefer a grilled fish taco. All right, tell me about lunch at Rosa Mexicano because you guys. Well, I don't know about you, Susie, but Mike seemed pretty uh, messed up in a good way. Well, you know, we had heard good things and we've been meaning to check it out and it's kind of one of those places that you don't really think about unless you're in the area yeah so we were kind of going back and forth as to where to go and i said you know what let's do rosa mexicano because we you know kind of kept going between places we had already been or that we tend to hit up more frequently yeah like, let's try something we haven't tried before and it was a great choice yeah so did you just walked up and they just sat you right away. Yeah. So I looked on um, open table oh, and right. they had no reservations and I tried to walk up and they had no walk up. That website is completely worthless. So we walk, walk in. I'm like, oh, this just, I, this place can't be banging. We walked in There's five people and, and the people in front of us got seated immediately. So I'm like, do you have a walk up? Yeah. What's the party Two. Like normally at Disney, they're asking for your cell phone number so that they can page you while they're seating you. Yeah. That always makes so much. So can I, we get your phone number? Uh, sure. And then the text like, goes really immediately. Needed that, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, so they seated us right away. Mm -hmm. And a server was phenomenal. Yes, she was great. She was phenomenal. Brings us to chips and salsa. And Daniel asked right away, we put this on social media. We'll answer the questions in a little bit. But he said... How was the salsa? You can always tell right off the bat whether or not a Mexican restaurant is good based on the salsa. I completely agree with that statement 100%. Well, and he's also married to a Mexican woman, correct? Yes. yes so he knows he knows the real deal good salsa. He does he does the he and if he doesn't, he's got somebody who can critique. Yes. The restaurant. He's going to a restaurant with someone who knows the real deal. At least who knows the real deal. Yeah. You are correct. Um and what, what was the chips and salsa like? It was phenomenal. I think it's probably the best salsa I've ever had. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it like warm? The salsa is still warm when you got it? or was it No, it might have no, been a room warm. temperature or, or on the chill side. but Because sometimes you get it when it's warm, like they heat it up. Like I like that personally, but I know. And I'm guessing it was really thin and like blended. Yeah. Yeah, it was thin. You could you could taste every flavor. Yeah. Or every ingredient, I'm sorry. Um mm -hmm. it was just fresh. And right, you know, she tells us we make this in house daily. You could tell. It was it was good. It was thin, but it didn't fall off the chip. Yeah. It it just coated the chip perfectly. It was one of those where you don't want to get filled up on it, but she she asked us if we wanted more, and I said, Absolutely. The chips I, were warm. The chips were warm. I love that. Yeah. Fresh seasoned perfectly they weren't you know too salty right you don't want them too salty either. right um and then mike said i think you actually said you could have used some more salt in the salsa and i said i liked it because you could taste the salt on the chip more yeah you were right about yeah yep yeah yeah with the salt with the little bit of salt on the chip it did it made it was perfect it was yeah. so good it, it was one of those where you're eating them throughout the meal that's how good it, you know like when you usually eat the chips and salsa and then when the apps come or the entrees come you just push them off to the side and you're done with it it was just we were eating it the entire time i think even when we were done with our entrees and she was bringing to go boxes i was still nibbling <laughs> and she let us bring the salsa home oh really yeah, yeah she goes she you want some, some chips and you salsa want some chips and salsa to bring home like yeah 
So I thought she was going to wrap it up. She brought a whole container of fresh salsa in a big bag oh. of chips. So I said, the heck with this. I'm dumping the salsa that we had at our dinner table, too, into this <laughs> container. So it started off really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. And I think had we not been at the food and wine event the previous evening, I probably would have gotten a cocktail. Yeah. And a cocktail out. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like you got to normally you got to have a margarita there, right? right? I would imagine you go there. But I can understand that if you're not feeling it the next morning. It's yeah. Probably the last thing on your mind. Right. But the menu, I actually kind of had a hard time deciding what to get. The menu is fantastic. Yeah, it's got a great menu. It's very simple, but it, oh, what a great menu. Yeah, I'm looking at the lunch menu right now, and it's not like overwhelming. There's some like Mexican places where it's like 10 pages. Of 14 stuff. pages. Yeah, it's like the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. But this one's not bad. I mean, there's some decent starters, but then they have tacos, some sandwiches. Even the salads look really good. The salads do sound pretty good, yeah. The chicken tortilla soup. Yeah, there's so much good stuff on there. And it's not that expensive. No. Really. I mean, for lunch, I don't know if the dinner is significant. I know the dinner is bigger because they have, like, steaks and stuff you could get for the dinner menu, but. I mean, and I also like the fact that they did have a couple of um, vegetarian options. Yeah. Yeah, I saw they have like a roasted mushroom taco, crispy cauliflower taco. Yeah. Well, so what'd you guys end up going with for your orders? So, of course, I had to get a soup, which I always yeah. do chicken tortilla soup. Chicken tortilla soup. How was that? <laughs> I blessed myself. What? <laughs> So that's one of those when it's done yep. well, it's one of the best soups out there, in my opinion. So but I've had some real bad ones, too. It can be messed up very easily. She she brought it to the table, mm -hmm. and I saw her holding a separate container of the broth, and she put the soup bowl down, and then she proceeded to pour the broth over it, and I said, yep, yep, this is the real deal. This is going to be good. Oh, so it had like the chicken and stuff in the bowl, and then she yes, it. yeah, okay, yeah, and then just topped it off. And I took a bite, and I was like, "This is ridiculous." The the chicken had been marinated, and it just had such a beautiful flavor, and it was tender. Yeah. Usually, when those chicken soups are a little chewy and grizzly, it was tender. It had a great flavor. And at the time, I'm, I, I told her, I said, you have to try this right now. And I'm pushing the bowl over to her. And at that time, our service coming over. And I say, this is this is freaking ridiculous. And she got nervous. She said, is everything OK? She's, I'm like, no, no, this soup is like off the charts. It's ridiculous. It's like the best soup I've ever had. She's like, oh, because when you said this is ridiculous, I got a little nervous. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's the other ridiculous. It's on the good side okay. of ridiculous. Yeah. And what did you think? I thought it was really, really good. So much yeah. so that I was a little upset that I hadn't gotten my own. <laughs> but there's no way I would have been able to eat that and an entree. Yeah. With all the now, chips and salsa that I had eaten. It, it's interesting what you said about the chicken. And like a lot of times when you get soup with chicken in it, this the, it gets overcooked because yes. it's sitting in the broth. But this isn't. So they cut the chicken fresh, and then they pour the broth over it, so it's not sitting in it and continuously cooking. And that's probably yeah. why the chicken was so tender. And it was so good. Yeah, and they have like the corn, the the strips of the chips on top. The strips, the and they were yeah. So they weren't. Yeah, you're right. They weren't soft when it came to the dinner table. And then there's really usually it, it says avocado, and that like cools it down a little bit. I never ate avocado, and I was eating the avocado now. Yeah, that sounds good. And only fourteen dollars. That's not bad for us. No, it's not. Was it a good portion size? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. How about entree wise? Would you go with? So we both went with tacos. Mm -hmm. Um, we were gonna kind of share. I went with the grilled steak tacos, and she went with the Bereria, or how do you pronounce it? Beria, I believe. Beria. Beria. Yeah. Beria. Yeah. Beria. I think that's what you said, right? Susie? So we had these, if you recall, on our Disneyland trip when we went to Grand Cal. Or Grand Cal. California Adventure. Cal I always get the <laughs> California Adventure. We stayed at Grand Cal. And we had these tacos. It was the first thing we had. Remember, we were standing yep. up at that table. Yep. 
and we were dipping the tacos into that sauce and how ridiculously so good these good. were and these were better yeah and that was the thing we actually both wanted the birria tacos and i said well why don't we you know each get something different and then we can share because they they came with three you got three tacos so yeah. i had exactly. one one of hers and she had one of mine so so three tacos with rice and beans mm -hmm. 23 bucks were they were good sized tacos like decent yeah, we were yeah, full. We were full. I, yeah. I think you actually had like one and a half. Yeah, I had one and a half. Yeah, that. But you know, sometimes those a Pereira, it's greasy, so you really, you know, smother the shell is just smothered. But these yeah. were, these were legit. These were really good. And they were well, because so they bad. usually make the when they make them, they dip it in the sauce before they throw it on the griddle, so it gets like crispy, like with the right. with that consomme on it, and then like the cheese gets all melty in there. They gave you a cup of the broth as well to dip it in, I assume. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, they were. So, so they were good. better than the ones at at Disneyland. We thought so. Yeah, we, we heard thought so. Differing yeah. opinions, but we thought so. How were the grilled steak ones? They just don't live up to the Berea. No, they no, they're legit. They're yeah, some they're of the best, too. some of the best I've had. And I even told the server, I said, you know, usually you get these grilled tacos, and it's just chewy and grizzly. I mean, these were cooked. They were like the little, little, little tiny tips, little like cubes, the size yeah. of a pencil, you know, the size of a pencil eraser. And it was still red in the middle, mm. which is surprising because something that's small. But it was so tender. Usually they're they're chewy. And she said that didn't she say that they changed the, the type of steak that yeah. they use? Yep. Because people were saying that originally it was a little too chewy. So they changed huh. what type of steak they use. And what'd you think? You you thought that was phenomenal yeah, I too, didn't it was you? Excellent. How are the rice and beans? I really, I love rice. So if it's good rice, like I'm on board. So that was the one thing that I was kind of underwhelmed by. Oh, really? I didn't try any because I was get I was getting full because I had the soup. Yeah. And she said it wasn't that great, but I wrapped it up and we brought it home and it was, it was good. It was good and it was fresh. Yeah. But I think it was just understated because of how good everything else was. Yeah. It just didn't live up to the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe if we started with that instead of finished with that, mm -hmm. it would have been a little different. But some great options though, like uh, ahi fresh ahi tuna tacos, crispy shrimp tempura tacos, red chili chicken tacos, which was the same chicken that was in your soup, um, roasted mushroom, crispy cauliflower, chopped cheeseburger. Yeah. So if you have like a picky eater, it's like a cheeseburger taco. That's a pretty good idea pork carnitas which is one of my favorites and then the baja style fish which sounds fantastic yeah if you hadn't done the uh fish tacos the night before i bet you might have been tempted to try that one yeah i always go that's actually what i got uh for lunch yesterday at sarah bay was i got the grilled black and mahi fish tacos yeah that sounds pretty good and then didn't the server say that the sandwiches are really good yeah yeah you would never think to get like a sandwich at a mexican restaurant right but I'm sure it's good. Yeah, the menu looks fantastic. And you know what's crazy? Of the three, because we've talked about this place before, I think the lunch menu is probably like the least exciting. I think the breakfast looks phenomenal. and The, the dinner breakfast looks amazing. We're, we're going over the breakfast menu this morning, actually. Yeah. And then the, the dinner menu just has everything on here plus a whole lot more as well so like that dinner menu is pretty fantastic as well but you can't go wrong right i now. mean that's not crazy if they're decent size and they're really good plus the the chips and salsa are included so you really don't even need to order an appetizer right it sounds like if you had chips and salsa and just like the tacos you would have been more than satisfied for a lunch oh absolutely yeah so you can get out of there relatively cheap if you don't drink and you don't get an appetizer, I mean, it's 50 bucks for two people. Maybe yeah. 60 if you get a Coke or something. Yeah. And you get a 10% DVC discount. Oh, that's nice. And it makes sense because they're trying to get people over. Yeah. From However, their DVC properties. I read on the website they do not take Disney gift cards there, right? That is correct. I did have to use. I did ask because I loaded up uh, my Disney gift card, so they don't take that. Because but th they're not connected to the system. Yeah, they said. which makes yeah. sense. No, I get it. Um, and also, what was it? Twenty percent? Was it? 
AAA, AAA, I think was they 20. take a triple a AAA discount. Oh. So depending on whether the rest of the restaurants take the discount, because back in the day, they all took tables in Wonderland. Right, right. Because we used to get the 20% off at Shula's. So now they might just only do a DVC discount. But if they do a AAA, it might behoove us to get a AAA membership just to use the discounts over at the Swan and Dolphin when we're there. Yeah. What do you use this for? I got a I got flat tire and all that other coverage under my insurance. I just use it for discounts at the Swan and Dolphin. Excuse me? Huh? No, that's awesome. Yeah, 20%. That's that's real deal. Yeah, and this is a place that's been on your radar, too. I think you, you said you were going to try to make it happen on your last trip, but it didn't. Well, it's because we did the the dining plan. Oh, that's right. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's because it's not on the dining plan because it's not at Disney. They don't participate in the dining plan. But I would definitely go back. Yeah, oh, definitely. No doubt. I, I would say this is the best yeah. Mexican restaurant on property. I think, I think so. it's pretty damn close, though, because remember, Rick Bayless's place was amazing, too. That's true. Rick Bayless's place over at uh, Disney Springs. Fusina, Fatura, Frontera Casino. Oh, that place is good. I think I got like a corn soup there. It was the same yeah. thing. They poured the broth over it. It was. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, yeah that's another raining. good one. Yeah, it was raining, so everybody was diving in to grab lunch. But yeah, I think those those are hands down the two best Mexican places on property. Nice. And you guys generally like Mexican food as well. Good Mexican. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like we went to a local place here and you know, it was basically an enchilada with Velveeta cheese. You, could you barely even eat you it. You could tell we it came out of a microwave. Side. It was disgusting. It was bad. That's not good. Doesn't take you much. get the taco and it's just ground you get a burrito, a beef burrito and it's just ground Hamburg. I mean, that's okay if that's what you want. If if it's that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we'll do we, well, we do turkey tacos, but I don't mind like ground like doing a hamburg like in the regular, you know, the the shell tacos that you make on Taco yeah. Tuesday. But if I go to a restaurant and I'm getting I, I expect something a little Yeah, but there's some places I've been to that you get like the ground beef tacos and they're out of this world because they season it well and it's like super fresh and like all the salsa and toppings are good. You just don't want to sit in a vat of its own grease for nine hours before they serve it to you. Right. Which like is at one of those really buffets good. that Ed goes to. <laughs> yeah. Ed and Diane. Is that who it is? Diane? No, Ed and Michelle, right? Ed and Michelle, yeah. Ed That's your favorite YouTube channel? I love that channel. <laughs> don't you? I do not. Susie doesn't like that one. Uh-huh. There aren't very many that I do like. Yeah, she hates fairness. all these people. <laughs> We were, we were thinking about doing a show about the top 10 YouTubers that we want to slap. <laughs> well, would you like to move on to your next yeah. stop on the day? Yeah, because a lot of the YouTubers that we want to slap are the ones who are ripping this place. I didn't see anybody rip it. I'll be honest. Uh, what? Everybody I watched said it's like uh, the best thing they had. It's uh, the, All this stuff is fantastic. Everyone says it's good, so I don't know what world you're living in. Yeah, I, I, I guess I listen to I watch different YouTubers. Well, you definitely I, watch I, more I, than I do. Say, oh, it, it, it came. It tasted like it came out of a freezer. You sounded like your mom. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, <laughs> I am her son. <laughs> so you went to Cake Bake Shop. We did. Not the restaurant. You went to the counter, right? To get. We to couldn't get stuff. seated originally. We we're going to try to do lunch there. Yeah. But she said they were fully booked and they weren't taking walk up. I couldn't even do a walk up. Yeah, I, we went to the bakery. It's definitely been busy. I heard the bakery doesn't even take. I thought I told you to make like reservations for the walk up counter. It's almost like a standby. Like they're only letting like six people in at a time because oh, the really? place is always full. So you have to wait outside. Hmm. And then as like three people come in, they'll throw three more people in. They'll give you a menu. And yeah, so you can look at the menu while you're outside waiting. But it's an interesting layout because they have a lot of retail yeah there. they really do oh like souvenirs like and, like... and shirts and hats huh. and cookbooks and stuffed animals and like birthday candles and all kinds of things like it's kind of crazy the amount of stuff they pack in there but you can't go in and walk around it's too busy to do that yeah it is <laughs> which kind of i guess at some point it probably will be more right. leisurely they even sell like like Pandora charms and necklaces and like 
Oh, really? $80, like, hand-blown glass ornaments. I mean, it's kind of an impressive array of products. Yeah, it's it is. Just a little, I don't really know that I need, like, a charm bracelet with a cake on it. But I'm sure it's going to develop that kind of a following. So what did you guys end up uh, ordering there? Uh, we got three things. Okay. We got a slice of the millionaire cake. We got a chocolate chip cookie. Mm-hmm. And we got a rose macaron. Okay. So and we brought it back. With the sea salt, right? Yes. Yep. The macaron and then the millionaire cake, which is three layers of Valrona French chocolate cake filled with Caboulet Belgian chocolate ganache, homemade salted caramel sauce, vanilla buttercream, and homemade butter shortbread cookies topped with Belgian chocolate fudge, more shortbread, and salted caramel sauce. Sounds good. Yep. $22.99 for the cake. Yeah. The cookie was $6.99. That's and correct. The macaroons are what, $4.50? Something like yep. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 450 because you can get raspberry, champagne, birthday, rose, and chocolate caramel. So you got the rose, you said? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What'd you think? Well, we brought it back to the boardwalk. We okay. wanted to eat. So we went uh, inside uh, those seating tables by the coffee shop on the oh, yeah. main the level. Reception yep. Area. Yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're, the carousel coffee shop over there. Yep. Yep. So we started with the chocolate chip cookie. No, we started. We with started the cake. with the. Uh, was it the cake? Okay, so we started. Sorry, we started with the cake. I think maybe one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. Yeah, it was that good. Yeah. Now, how big? It was huge. The cake's big because I've seen like well, I've watched some reviews and it doesn't look. It looks. It doesn't like look. Same. It doesn't on the reviews. It doesn't look. As big as it is, but it is. It looks like the size of Rhode Islanders will know, like a Greg's slice of cake. No, it's bigger. Is it okay? Because that's what when I see it on YouTube. So I'm just like, obviously, yeah. I haven't been there. So right. that's what it looks like to me. I'm like, okay, it's big, but it doesn't look. It's crazy not. Big. It's not like double the size of the Greg's, but I, yeah. I think it's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and it was that good. Oh my god, it was so good. It was. It was. I tried. I tried. I took a couple of bites. It's just fresh. It's just good. I mean, put it this way, Gary. It was so big, we still have some in our fridge. <laughs> and she had some yesterday. Yeah. It was and still she's going to save me the last yeah. few bites, and I might just let her have it. It was. I mean, it, we'll, we'll backtrack, too. When we were talking to the guy, this guy basically takes you through the line. He's almost like your personal servant. Yeah. So he's the one who greets you when it's your turn, kind of explains everything. Anybody have any allergies? Uh you name it, and then he takes you down the line. Okay, what do you want? This, 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 and what kind of cake do you want? Okay, we want to get that cake. So he goes into the back where the cakes are and cuts us a piece, puts it in a box, blah, blah, blah. He told us that they have, what, is there manufacturing and celebration? Or... No, I thought he said it was in Kissimmee. It was in Kissimmee. So they have a plant where they do all this, where they make the cakes in Kissimmee. Hmm. And he said that they bring stuff in three times a day. What he also said that I thought was very interesting was that they built a replica bakery in that warehouse, and that's where they did all of their training. He said it looks exactly like it does in the one on the boardwalk. Well, maybe that's why it took them so freaking long to build the place <laughs> if they had to build one in a warehouse first. Could be. <laughs> but the now, owner's son was working in the bakery that day, too. Why didn't... So they don't make them in the restaurant. I mean, I know Kiss Me is not far, but they they bring them in from an off-campus bakery every day. Yeah, I don't think that they have the capacity have the in capacity. the kitchen to have to that do. kind of a pastry yeah. set up. Yeah, I guess if you're doing a full-service restaurant, you can't right. have that kind of pastry kitchen as well. It's one right. or the other, probably. Yeah. 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 And I'm sure the space is a lot cheaper there than renting another you know, right. 2,000 square feet from exactly. disney so but i mean the whole thing like everything looked incredible and you can see just the detail and the yeah. the gentleman who was helping us you know was showing us the like one of the little charms that they have 
and it's a replica of one of the cakes that they sell. And the cake, every cake has 50 roses on it. Huh. And when they were doing the prototype for the charm, the owner looked at it and she counted the roses and there weren't 50. So she said, no, she said, it has to be exact. So he said, she's, she has her hand in every single detail and it all has to be perfect or she won't let it go out. Hmm. And I, I think that was our experience. No, the quality was, was amazing. The quality was good. I mean, was she Oprah's? She wasn't Oprah's personal chef, was she? But no, I don't think so. She, she, she oh, got Art Smith was Oprah's Art personal Smith, chef. right? But I think wasn't she on the show, or was she like one of like the top fifty, like like that breaks people or makes people rather? Well, no, she had it, it as well. With... You know, every December Oprah does her favorite things, so she favorite had things. like. The cake That's right. from there was one of her favorite things, and it's on the menu. There's an Oprah cake. There's an Oprah, Oprah cake, menu. correct? Yeah, it's gluten free. Oh, okay, yeah, really good, like yeah. the chocolate chip cake, which is yeah. completely different than anything I've ever had. But it's my favorite ice cream, so I can't imagine I'd hate it as a cake. But um, I mean, so the cake was fantastic. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. And amazing. I honestly, I think, you know, people have commented quite a bit on the prices. It was what twenty three bucks. Yeah, twenty um twenty three four bucks, yeah, whatever, something like that. Yeah, it, you could easily cut it into three pieces. Yeah, and so I think you know for eight bucks a slice, that's reasonable. Yeah, I think that's you know in line with what you're going to pay. I mean, we for desserts at a lot of the Disney restaurants. We we got coffee prior to, and it was enjoyable. It was good and it was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. But you really love the cookie. And the cookie was de absolutely delicious. We broke that up in fours. Yeah. And, I, like, again, I'm not, I don't know cookies or sweets that good. But what I do know is that chocolate chip tasted like a chocolate chip I've never had before. Yeah. The quality of the Just chocolate. the quality. Who I don't know where it came from. I'm sure it's expensive. Yep. It just had a, a, a flavor that I've never, I'm like, it's the same chocolate oh. in the cake, apparently. The Kabulay Belgium semi sweet okay. bittersweet chocolates. It just it just had different different flavors that I've never experienced before. But you could also tell that I mean, yes, they're making it, you know, in large quantities, mm -hmm. but you can tell that it's it's handmade. It's not yeah. mass, mass produced. produced. Right. Yeah. I mean you could taste the butter in it. You could taste like right. the sea salt was like just made everything pop like it was it was really really good mm -hmm. i mean i have no i would pay seven dollars for a good chocolate chip cookie no no problem even if it wasn't able to split into four like just for one cookie. yeah i could have had one on my own but i'm i was just sweet overload for me i you know yeah. i needed i needed to pour some salt down the hatchet after all that stuff <laughs> it's just like the like the gideon's cookies i think are six or seven dollars and they're big. And they're bigger. Sure, yeah, they're big. Yeah. I don't know if they're bigger than these. I haven't. No, they're seen bigger. They're definitely bigger than the ones that. But I don't think up. that's like I don't think seven dollars for a good size chocolate chip cookie is a bad price. But I also I, I still think like... the cake's expensive. I understand you're saying you could split it, right. but I still that's kind of a bridge too far for me for twenty three dollars for a piece of cake. But yeah, I mean, there by no means would I get that. You know, every time I went into the place, but yeah. But as a special occasion type of place, I think it's right. whatever. If it's the best cake you've ever had, then I guess twenty three dollars right. is worth it. Yeah, I told Mike like I I can see sending you up there to get me that cake for my birthday. <laughs> what the whole thing? No, it's one hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, no. just <laughs> you don't need to. Ha I don't need a, an excuse to go up there. You want? Oh, yep, yep. What do you want? Mike will book a couple nights. I'll see yeah. you in two days. <laughs> I'm going to go in backstage while they make it and see it from start to finish. Yeah, see if they'll let me vlog it. But the thing, like, I would say, like, Gideon's cookies to me are a gimmick because there's just so much stuff on them. I honestly don't like them. I didn't care for the ones we had. I was hit or miss with them. The ones that I had two that were really good and then, like, three of them that I didn't like that much. Yeah. I will say, though, we tried not to get too off topic, but we went to that uh, summer, what was it summer house? Summer house. And they have cookies there. That... Yeah, that's when you went with uh, Eugenia Jr., right? Uh, or Eugenia. Yeah. Um, those cookies were bad. 
terrible really? at that place. I, I, nobody liked any of them. They were just oh. not good. So I wouldn't get those. <laughs> they were cheaper, and you didn't have to wait for three hours to get them. But there's a reason there was nobody there waiting for them too. They right. weren't very really good. But I mean, I would say like if I'm gonna pay seven dollars for a cookie, that was worth it. Yeah. 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 The only thing that I think could make it taste better is if it were warm. Yeah. I think if That's, you warmed it yep. up, it would be. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. But it was very soft, just flavorful, buttery, delicious. Now, how about the macaron? Because I'm not a big fan of those. those I'm not either. Favorite. I'm not either. She let she, I just said, get me a little piece. And I tried it. It was good if you like that. It's just, it's not my thing. See, that would be the, that would be probably the last thing I would have picked. Because one, I don't want rose. I don't like rose smell or flavor. Like it's too flowery, right? For me, and I don't like macarons that much. Yeah. Um. So, like, of anything on that menu, that probably would have been the last thing I picked. So, <laughs> that I being said, it's just you know, because it was so different. Yeah, sure. You know, like I've had macarons a million different places, and I don't know that I've ever had a rose one before. So I was like, eh, yeah, I'll yeah. try it. Was it pretty good? It was very good. Yeah. It was very sweet, but it was very good. Yeah, I feel like, and again, I don't know what makes a good one. For, I'm not a aficionado on those because I've had them a few times and yeah. they just taste like, I don't know, there's like the chewy middle and it's like the texture <laughs> I don't love and the flavors are usually just okay. Like, I don't know what would make a great one compared to the other. Maybe the ones I've had are great. And I just, they're just right. not for me. Like, I don't right. know enough about them. They're not my favorite thing. But if you liked it, that's all that matters. If you thought it was good in the head. Yeah, it was very good. I, I would, would definitely just, try the other ones. Yeah. I would just imagine a place like that that obviously is very good at flavors. Right. That the rose would be so overpowering that I probably wouldn't like it because of that aspect. Just because, like, I this. I can see that. Like, I've smelled like rose water and things like that. It's mm -hmm. just like, it's an instant turnoff for me. I just, the pungency of it's too much. I can't get over it. How do you feel about lavender? Hate it. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. I don't like anything flowery in my food. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Stuff that doesn't go with stuff. Just not for me because the, the aromas of them are too strong. It just overpowers my other senses when I'm trying to mm, you know, eat I that can see stuff. That. But yeah, I I thought the place was fantastic. It was. It was. I can't wait and to go. there are a million other things on that menu that I'd like to try. I can't wait to go for breakfast and lunch and dinner. I just want to try the Earl Court chocolate cake now or whatever it's called. Or whatever that, the hot chocolate that's made with... Uh, the unicorn hot chocolate. And what is it made? Uh, Ghirardelli white Ghirardelli, chocolate. Ghirardelli chocolate. Yeah, well, Ghirardelli's like, Compared to these other chocolates, that's like dog yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, but I, we watched Slumming the vlog, it. and they yeah. loved it. Yeah, but no, it was good. I I recommend it. I know the people who have never been there will say that it's the worst place. You know, it's funny because I was telling you how all these vloggers are just ripping it. They've never been, but they rip. I I was reading reviews. People are reviewing this place before it even opened. Yeah, I remember you said that. They, they're reviewing. They're giving it one star. These people are angry. $23 a piece of cake. Oh, oh, I'm giving you a one. Well, we watched one today, and the I think the thumbnail said something about $17 eggs. And so yeah. I put it on because I wanted to see if she was going to be one of those. And we determined that she just did that as a gra attention grab yeah. because she actually said that when you saw what they gave you, it wasn't a bad price at all. Well, there was one... I watched uh, with the Kristen from uh, yeah. Was, yeah Main whatever. Street, whatever. Yeah, like Tony I thought Martin she was fair because she said some of the stuff she loved and some she didn't think was worth. Like I, when I watched her review, I thought it was very fair. Yeah. Um, because she she said the cake was like, I think she loved the cake and one of the soup she said was fantastic, and then one of the other things she didn't think was as good or worth like getting again. Right. So, I I trust that more than someone like you said that just goes in and says everything's terrible because it's expensive. I mean, when you say that it that it tastes like it, it came out of a freezer, I mean, come on. I mean, this place is it's expensive because and you know everybody oh Disney Disney look up the prices. It's the same price in Indianapolis. Some of their prices are actually more expensive. 
So you're not having a crazy Disney markup in Indianapolis. In Indianapolis, more it's more expensive on a few right. of the items. So it's not Disney raping you. The place is good. It's fresh. So I mean, like, everyone that by saying that, oh, it tastes like it came out of a freezer, like a Carvel ice cream cake. I like, like Carvel. Just buzz I off and go to McDonald's. <laughs> I uh, necessarily. Yeah. Everyone who's had that chicken soup says it's amazing. That velvet chicken soup. Yeah, Tommy Morrow said it was. But yeah, I mean, take it for a grain of salt. He likes Happy Meals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <but>. fancy. <laughs> <laughs> but he still liked it. Anyway, anything else? Any final thoughts on Rosa or Cake Bake? Nope. Other than to say that we highly recommend both of them. Yeah, we go to social media because we posted this question. Oh yes, please we, do. We already answered Daniel's question. Want to know about Rosa Mexicano salsa game? Phenomenal salsa. Zach Tills, the apple pie at Cake Bake Shop is the best apple pie I've ever had. I don't, I'm not a huge, like, I like apple pie. I'd probably try it there, though, because if it's good, I do really like apple pie. A slice of cheese on it. Yeah, I don't do the cheese. You know, I like it. I, I, I've always, I always like the ones that, uh, I think Frank would bring over when you guys used to come over for Thanksgiving, the Mrs. Smiths. Yeah. Those are great. Yeah, they always like, then, right? I yeah, always exactly. Like Smith's apple pie. <laughs> I like a good I like the apples to be fresh yet soft. Like when you can find that combination. Like your brain? Yeah. But when you when you bite mm-hmm. into an apple pie and like you're chipping your teeth because they're so hot, you want me to <laughs> belated. Yeah. <laughs> Happy belated view. <you. laughs> Um, Shane Pledge needs some recommendations for menu choices at Rose. So what would you say? Would you go with the Gary, you looked at the dinner menu. Would you go with the steak or would you go with the traditional? I mean, I, I love I can't tacos. I recommend those tacos, the burritos, the barreria, though, and I think the steak and the fish would be our go-to. Yeah, I wouldn't get the fish only because I don't like them fried. But As long as, yeah, if they're if they're not fried, if they're grilled. Yeah, I mean, uh, it sounds like for dinner, I mean, can't go wrong with a steak, but I mean, if you're at a Mexican place, tacos, especially with the choices they have. Yeah. See what you're in the mood for and go that route with the tacos. Yeah. And it sounds like get that soup <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Definitely get the soup. If if you're remotely like soup, go with the soup. I mean, the salad. But it, I mean, everything looked good. Like the case, they had like these basically like mozzarella sticks, but they're like queso sticks, I think. Oh, really? I would have been really curious to try those. Yeah. And then last but certainly not least, Angry New Phil Jr. Oh, boy. Right out of the playbook, did you use a home equity loan to finance this venture, or was it a personal line of credit? I mean, you did send, you did send the receipt back to me. It was Mike's annual bonus. In fairness. It was 40, yeah. $40. It was $40 <laughs> for the two of us. Right. It's twenty piece. It's a a DVC a discount. Yeah, that was my. I put it on my. I put it on my. Um, Expense on my report. Disney gift card. No, yeah. I put it on a Disney gift card. Yeah. So, um, they don't do discounts at this time, but between certain hours. Now, here's a tip. Here's a tip. Is it between two and four? Do we we got there like five minutes too late? Yeah. So what they do is is it a ten percent discount, but it's on the cheapest item. So you don't want ten percent on the macaron. So you just order one thing then. You order one thing. You you want the discount on the cake. Oh, so they give you 10% on one item? On one item, yeah. Yeah. And I they're going to they're going to have to change that cuz Why now, even do it at that point? That, right. Like well, because like we were saying now like we just do separate transactions. We do separate transaction. Now that's yeah. going to hold the lineup, but if I want if I'm yeah. I want 10% on the $23, I want 2.30 as opposed to 62 cents on the macaron cookie, you know? Right. Yeah, I'm gonna do six separate transactions for yeah. this thing I buy now. So now you just hand in the credit card over the shoulder, you go, sir, <laughs> and there you go, Isabella. <laughs> <laughs> they got the line all the way out to the beach club. Hey, ten percent is ten percent. <laughs> you're exactly right. But yeah. Definitely check both of them out if you have them. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, really is that crab cake? Yeah, the twenty-five dollar crab cake. That's more than that. No, it's twenty-five. It's fifty for two. Oh, I was thinking the entree. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, that was the yeah. one thing that she didn't like was the crab cake. Okay, really? yeah, I've heard. I've heard that yeah. it's expensive, but usually when I get a crab pe- crab cake, it's all filler. This like actually had crab. Yeah, okay, so it had crab. You pay a little. She just said it wasn't as flavorful as she was hoping, Chris. Oh. But there was something else she really liked. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and watch her review again. I, th- so. I thought I was going to say one more thing. Oh, yeah. As you bring us home, these these two will be on our YouTube channel. As you said, uh, we have the food and wine classic from the Swan and Dolphin. Yes. So we'll be having the Rosa Mexicano and... The Cake Bake Review this week on our YouTube channel. That's fantastic. So youtube.com slash at WDWBTG, where you can find us on all our social medias at WDWBTG, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, our Facebook group, WDW Beyond the Gates Podcast Family, website, WDWBTG.com. Subscribe wherever you download your podcast. We appreciate it. You can email the show info at WDWBTG.com, Mike at WDWBTG.com, and Gary at WDWBTG.com. Is there anything else that I left out? Nope. All right, that's going to do it for episode number 556 of the WDW Beyond the Gates podcast. For my co-host Mike and our special guest, Sweet Susie, my name is Gary. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll talk to you again next week. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M-O-R.